Hi, I'm Richard Dimegard with SuccessFit.com and today I'm going to teach you how to make a delicious vegan blueberry yum yum ice cream. And we're going to put it to the test though. Uh, I have a teenager and I have a genuine three year old little kid here with me today. So uh, if you want to know how to make a delicious all vegan ice cream that you can make in your uh, blender at home, stay with us here for just a couple of minutes. Now to make this, what you need to do is you need to buy bananas and freeze them first. What I have here in this bag actually are 10 peeled mini bananas. The mini bananas are a little bit sweeter than the full size bananas. In addition to that, I've kind of waited until they got ripe, almost to the point that you might want to make banana bread out of them. That's when the bananas are the sweetest. In addition to that, I've also frozen some strawberries here and I have some very delicious, very sweet organic blueberries and I have a can of, uh, of organic light coconut milk. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put all these things in the blender. You're going to need a good blender like a, like a Vitamix or I have a Ninja blender. And uh, we're going to swirl these things together and essentially make our own homemade vegan ice cream. Now there are a couple things that we need to do to make sure that this is fluffy and delicious like ice cream. Number one, freeze the bananas for a full 24 hours peeled and in a bag before you do this. Next, the fruit that I'm going to put in, I'm going to put both some ripe strawberry and some ripe blueberries in here. These are delicious, these are organic, these are absolutely fantastic. It was hard not to eat them before this demonstration. Uh, but you should freeze these items also. And then of course you'll need a measuring cup. The key here to make ice cream rather than a smoothie is to make it as thick as you possibly can. That's why a good blender is necessary. In addition to that, you want to add the coconut milk uh, as sparingly as possible. Uh, as you make it and as you mix it, only adding enough to lubricate the blades so that the frozen fruit can swirl around. If you keep the coconut milk to a minimum uh, and the fruit frozen until you're ready to make it, it'll be uh, fluffy and delicious when you're done with this. So I'm going to add the bananas uh, to, my, uh, uh, to my blender here and uh, I'm going to add the other fruit and we're going to blend this up. What I've done here is I've added the bananas, I've added the strawberry, I've added all in all uh, a little more than a half a cup of the coconut cream and now I'm just whirring it all together in my blender. In a few minutes we'll have blueberry strawberry banana ice cream. And now the consistency is just perfect. We'll put it to the test here in just a second. Feed it to some kids. Now we're going to put this delicious vegan ice cream to a test here. The kid test. We'll give it to the 15 year old, the 3 year older, and I won't say how old I am. By the way, it is a, a very light consistency when it comes out of the blender. Um, again, just reduce the coconut milk. And uh, of course you can always freeze this and that'll firm it up and uh, save it for later. So this looks absolutely delicious. Here you go, some ice cream for you. Try that out, give us your opinion. Let us know what you think. That's pretty good. Wow, that's delicious. Try it. Yeah. Ice cream. It looks funny. Yum. What do you think? Is that good ice cream? You like that? Mm -hmm. Wow. Is it better than the store down the street? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alex, what do you think? I think it tastes pretty good for strawberries, bananas, and blueberries mashed up. Awesome. So, that's how you make vegan ice cream at home. A delicious, healthy dessert. When you're losing weight, you don't have to give up what's yummy. I'm Richard Dongard with SuccessFit.com. Check us out online.